How long did it take you to think of that outfit? I've been pondering upon that all week. <laughs> but it just means that I never really wear open toe shoes. It's actually really easy to make hummus. This is a very intimidating cupboard. I already know what's going down right now, so I don't even need to say. <sighs> My face is so cold. We are going for dinner tonight for mom's birthday, so I'm kind of trying to save my appetite for dinner. I'm going to make some hummus. It's actually really easy to make hummus. I don't know if you guys have made it before, but yeah, it's really easy. It is so much better for you than the bought stuff, so yeah, I just usually make it when I feel like it. So I just want to add your chickpeas into a food processor like this one. Half a lemon, tablespoon lots of cumin. So you can also add garlic, but I typically don't like to add raw garlic because it doesn't agree with my stomach. But if you are fine with raw garlic, you can add some of that in as well. Then you want to add lots of olive oil. And lastly, you just want to sprinkle it with a bit of paprika and drizzle a little bit more olive oil. And there you go. Very photogenic. Yeah, yours is pretty photogenic too. Oh, oh great! great. <laughs> you, like it, you. you come to home? I'm pretty good. Mm. 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 So, so what's, what's the best place so far? Good morning. I literally can't believe how rare this t-shirt is, especially on camera. It looks so red. I have a hunter market stall tomorrow, and I've obviously had quite a few days to organize for this stall, but I have left all organization to today which we love. So I have so much to organize between now and 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So thankfully Nick is gonna come over after work tonight and help me organize everything. Pretty much I need to go through my wardrobe and go through all the things that I'm planning on selling tomorrow and then transfer everything that I plan on selling to our two cars and then drive it to the stall tomorrow morning. And on top of that, I've also got to shoot a project this afternoon for Instagram. And I also have quite a bit of admin and emails and that kind of thing that I'm somehow planning on fitting in today as well. So yeah, we've got a busy day, but we're gonna get everything done. A lot of you guys have been asking me on Instagram about the house hunt and how it's going. And I definitely wish I could update you guys a little bit more, but to be honest, when we're inspecting houses, it feels kind of awkward to vlog because there's so many other people that are also inspecting the house at the same time and I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable. And it's also been a really stressful process. I think we're finding it really hard to actually knuckle down on what it is that we want in a house and what our priorities are and I don't even know. It's just, it's really difficult. So if you guys have ever bought your first house, I would love to hear how the hell you did it because it is causing us so much stress. <laughs> I currently have three stripy shirts in my wardrobe. I think I'm going to sell this blue and white one just because I very recently got that other blue and white one in a cropped one that you saw in the last video. So this is a men's size large t-shirt and I have not worn it, so this is being sold. These half off the shoulder tops aren't really for me, so we're selling it. I've already cleared out this stuff. I think it's actually relatively good effort because I keep a pretty concise wardrobe usually so to even be able to clear out this is good but this is the wardrobe that i keep all the things that i'm planning on selling a lot of this stuff is listed on my depop this is a very intimidating cupboard
Do we think that I'm going to wear these white Garni boots again, especially given I also have them in brown? I think I actually like the brown better, but at the time I wore the white so much. I've never actually told you guys this before, but I have really funny toenails. I'm not going to get into it now, but it just means that I never really wear open toe shoes and I especially never wear open toe heels and that kind of thing. So yeah. I'm gonna sell these. And in case you're wondering why I have funny toenails, I used to do point ballet when I was younger and it just like seriously screwed up my toenails. I haven't worn open toe shoes for about 10 years now because of this toenail situation. So yeah, it's very annoying. <laughs> We are going for Nando's. Woohoo! Second night in a row. We had Nando's for dinner last night and we're gonna have it again tonight because we both it was realized so good. we need more Nando's yeah, for Yeah, I don't know why I haven't been eating it the last five to ten years. Bizarre. Man. So we're going to get that. We've been working very hard with loading our cars up. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff back there. It's so gloomy. It looks like it's gonna rain, but it's looked like it's gonna rain the whole day. Yeah, and so much more like 100% rain all afternoon. I don't know wear tomorrow. Yeah, I was going to wear jeans and a tee. Very creative, yeah. I don't know. How long did it take you to think of that outfit? I've been pondering upon that all week. <laughs> I bet you someone takes that park. No, it's empty. No one's going to take the park. Oh, yeah. Look at that, right at the front. This is how we do it. No one's breaking into the car now. No worry, people would break into the car because of how much stuff we have at the back. Uh, I wouldn't bother. People are just gonna like pull it out anyways. Hopefully today is a very successful market day with our coffees and we're getting ready. craving for chocolate chip and peanut butter cookies so i think i'm just gonna bake some now i feel like watching me make these cookies is actually going to be really therapeutic so i'm gonna like make sure i get a really nice angle and then you guys can watch Now I just have to add the chocolate chips and then it's all done. So for the chocolate chips, I sort of feel like there's no such thing as too many. So I'm gonna add a lot. I'm just gonna add them all actually. How good does this cookie dough look? Oh my days. To scoop the cookies, I like to use an ice cream scooper. You can obviously just use a spoon if you don't have one. So I just mix them like 